what is going on everybody it's again from scissor graphics welcome to my channel and also welcome to my how to use background series so without any further ado let's jump into today's tutorial i got this artwork from pinterest and i decided to redesign it because i like the title the reason why the artwork is not looking successful to me is because the layout is common and dull is not strong enough to catch the audience's attention. Because today's audience like to see what we entertain them, as designers, ways to make our design look interesting should be our goal after understanding the project. Part of how you can achieve this is when you play with type. The unexpected and memorable composition happen when typographic do the extra work and convey an idea. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use type to convey an idea. What inspired the illustration on the version I'll be redesigning is the title. The title is tagged I press and there's no press without movement. That's why I use the illustration of a man working on the title. I'll be designing the illustration with Illustrator and do the final composition with Photoshop. So let's start. So I already have Illustrator open and I already have my artboard set. So for those of you that care to know the frame size of my artboard is 1024 by 1024. Okay, so I'm going to drag my silhouette in like so and I'm going to scale this down for now and I need to take I need to convert this to a, a fill object. So I'm going to click on image trace and I'm going to hit the expand button now but just in case you are looking at achieving you know taking the background of the silhouette out like the way i just did now make sure that you have silhouette with high pixel all right like something around 1000 by 1000 up it would be okay but if you use anything lower than that like um, let's say you know the frame size of the silhouette is 300 by 300 the taking the background of the silhouette out is going to be a little bit difficult all right because the edges of the silhouette is not going to look smooth so anytime you're trying to achieve this please please try and make sure you get silhouette image with a large size go to object and hit on group and now i'm going to take this out like so then i'll zoom in and remove it from here make this white out and take this white out okay so i'm going to position this here and i'm going to copy the title and i'm going to paste it here Paste. All right so i'm going to delete this so I'm going to scale this big all right so the font i'm going to be using is called skater skater builds all right then I'm going to scale this big. So what I'm going to do next is to rotate it uh, this way. Uh, draw. I'm going to draw a shape. I'm going to draw a rectangle shape. Like so. I'm going to use the direct selection tool to just push this point in. So I'm going to hold on shift and use my up and down arrow key to push this in. Five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Then I'm going to um, position this here. You know what? Let's just push it in a little bit more. So I'm going to push it in like two, like two times. One, two, and I'll do the center one, two here. So let's push this here. All right. This is good. So now I'm going to position this. Here and make sure that this is above uh, your text whenever you're trying to achieve this so I'm going to make this go bigger like so and I'll select the two objects like so and I'll go to object and select envelope disturb and select make with top objects and we have um, this so now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to push this down and I'll right click, 
go to transform and select share and i'm going to hit the preview button go to the share angle and just you know skew this this way let's see what this is going to give me this like so and this should go this way I'm going to stop here. I'm going to select OK. So, the, but if you look at uh, my letter R here, you'll notice that it's too close to the P. So, I'm going to go straight inside the, the text, like so, and I'll add tracking. I'll double click here to go out. Now, you see I have space between my P and my uh, R. Uh, so, the next thing I'm going to do now is to just draw something like a shape. Transform and select share again, and I'm just going to select the OK button. Now, this need to be here. I can even scale this down a little bit more and just push this down like so. And now, if I position this here, we should have this. Okay, so now I'm done with my illustration. You know what? Let's just, let just move this up a little bit. Rotate it. Now, rotate it a little bit okay so this is perfect now i'm going to position this here this is what we have now all right so i need to expand this so i'll click on the title and i'll go to objects and I'll select expand and select okay okay then i'm going to do the same thing object so now the reason why you need to expand your type here in illustrator before going to photoshop is if you don't copy it from here to illustrator it will be difficult all right so i'm going to um push this up like so okay so the next thing i'm doing now is to take this to photoshop and put everything together so now i'm going to launch my photoshop application okay so now i'm going to create a new document so i'll put my file and i select new and um for this project i'm going to use 10 24 by 12 80. okay and i'm going to make my resolution 100 all right then i'm going to call this um address okay now the next thing I'm going to do is to just click on the create button. So uh, the frame size I'm using here is the Instagram portrait frame size. So that's for those of you that care to know. All right, now I'm going to um, change the color of my background. So we have those called type here on my PC, and I'm going to hit the Ctrl V on my keyboard to paste um, the code. Now for those of you that care to I um, know the code, the color code that I'm using here. Um, this is it right here. So I'm going to click on the OK um, button. Okay. So uh, the reason why I'm using this background here is um, I'm trying as much as possible to um, use a background that will make my text visible. All right. And um, something that will push out the information that I have on it. So now I'm going to hold on Alt and hit the backspace on my keyboard to apply the color of my foreground to uh, my background layer. You can use any color, all right? It's not compulsory to use the same color I'm using here on all your projects, okay? So there are too many colors you can use that will push the information on your design and then uh, make the content on it, you know, visible. Illustrator and copy my illustration. Go the footprint, all right? I'm going to see on my keyboard and I'll go straight to Photoshop and hit Ctrl V. So, um, on your paste option here, make sure you choose shape dynamic. And the reason why you need to choose shape dynamic is so as to be able to change the color of your um, vector here in um, Photoshop. So, I'm going to click on the OK button. So, I'm going to call this Tim. Okay, and uh, you know what? Let's just change the color so as to be able to see what uh, we have now. So, this is what we have at the moment. So, I'll go straight back to Illustrator and copy the 
silhouette of the man and then I'll go back to Photoshop and paste this. Click on the OK button and this should be here. Let's push him out there. So I'm gonna hold on shift and select the two layers and I'll bring out the free transform and scale this down for now. So I'm going to just hide these two uh, you know objects for now. So the next thing I'm doing now is to create my guides. Alright, then um because I notice I have four um days that the event is going to hold with their address and the time of the meeting, I'm going to use four column groups for this. So I'm going to go to view and select new guide layout and uh, I'm going to make sure my column is set to four and my gutter is going to be 15. Now gutter is the space between, um, you know, the space separating your columns, all right, which is here. So this is my gutter, this is my gutter and my margin is going to be 70. So for those of you that don't know what margin is, so this right here is my margin so if i adjust any figure here it will affect the space around my grid all right so i'm going to leave um the row the way it is i'm not going to touch the row and i'm going to click on the ok button so now um what i'm going to do is to first put in the name of um, the ministry all right so i'm just going to copy that and paste it here like so and put i'll go straight to the property tab here and change the color of my text to white all right so now i'm going to position this somewhere here and i'll scale this down with free transform so the font i'm using here is um, called gotham all right so it's called gotham so for those of you that want to use the same font i'm using on your project so i'll click on the um change to cap button here and Close the space and I'm going to scale this down. Scale this down. So I'm going to use, um, I'm going to use book or better still, let's just use um, medium. Then I'll scale this up a little bit. I think it's smaller. right and um so the next thing i'm going to do is uh, let's just scale this out a bit right? okay and i'll add tracking there we have this now um i'm putting three pictures of the um speakers so i need to create a frame for them so i'm going to just hold down shift and you know post this here so always remember to draw your layout on a paper before getting to your pc Working that way will make you um, come up with good designs fast. So I'm going to position this here. I'm going to draw, make a copy again, and position this here, like so. Now this needs to be in a group. Okay, and I'm going to call this, um, let's do this. Or let's just call it ministers. All right, and uh, that should be there. And then now uh, for the title, so I'm going to just copy this and push, push, push it here. Let's go this here. So, and next is to um, close the tracking. Then I'll remove, I'll change this to send title case. Yeah, it should be title case. And I'll use bold. Once I should be bold. Yeah. So I need to close the meeting. Then I'll close the track on again. And I'm gonna this, this like so. So, um, 
I need to put the name of the minister. So I'm going to copy the first person's name. Okay, so uh, I'm going to reduce the size of uh, the name because this name here is going out of uh, my grid here. So I'm just going to push this in like so, not too much. Okay, and I'll move this out and move this out. Like so now this is good. All right, then. Uh, I'm going to put everything in the same group with the picture frame. All right. Okay, so we have them in the group now. So let's put the days. All right. So I'm going to start with the first day. Copy that and paste. And this is the face uh, the left side. And I need to add. Um, Leading to this, so let us zoom in, push this down, yeah. Oh, you know what? They just, you know, scale this big like so. Okay, and this needs to go down. Okay, so in order to make the um, the size of the days with the time similar, I'm going to make a copy of the first one I did and I'll edit it by pasting the day two, all right, which is the second day on, uh, I mean, based on the second day, all right, so I'm going to just, um, sessions, and I'm going to push this down, like so, all right, so you see this is going out of uh, my grid, so I'm going to just hold shift, and I'll push this in, like so. All right, and this needs to come here. Okay, then I'm gonna make a copy of this again, and this needs to be here. And a copy again, and paste this. Okay, then um, i push experience down, and uh, I'll push um. Let's down or so. All right, I need to scale this down a little bit more. So I'm going to bring out the free transform. I'm just going to push this down like so. And push this here. Push this here. Now you see, we're beginning to have um, our font is beginning to look smaller. So I need to do something else to fix uh, that error. So I am going to push this down, and I'm going to push this down. So what I'm going to do is to so what I'm going to do to fix this is because as you can see, you know the Dennis is inside my gutter. So I need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alert the text like I did here, and I'm do, I'm going to push the tracking in just once, like so. Now nobody will notice. So I'm going to zoom out and uh, you know. Yeah, so um, make a copy again and just push this here again 
and this time I'm just going to paste the last day which is uh, Sunday again and uh, I'm going to um, you know push this down so the next thing I'm doing now is to you know help my viewers understand the information on the dates so this is how I do this so I'm going to start with the day with the uh, day and time so I'll make this bold okay and uh, I'm gonna change the color all right so I'll change the color to this see the color all right now before picking this color I first check the colors that can work well on this background all right so you need to first of all check that before um, applying colors on your project so now I'm um, for the um, speaker. I'm going to double click here, so because we need to change the color of the speaker, so as to let people know that when they see that color, it means the next information after it is the name of the speaker. So I'm going to make this uh, italics, italics. Uh, Because doing this is going to help your viewers um, find it easy to scan through your project, all right? So I'm going to think just to you know, add comma to this. Okay, so now I zoom out and I hit Ctrl H on my keyboard. We have the space here that is affecting the uh, layout, so but we're going to fix that later, all right? So I need to go straight to the names and just change the color of the names, all right? So I'm going to start with Jason and change the color of the name to uh shade of color or you know what let's just select multiple names and apply the color to it to still work that way if i zoom out now this is what we have and um, for the youth conference i'm going to change the color of this to the same color that i used previously and let's make uh illustration visible all right so i'm going to hide this and um for the days, I'm going to put them in uh, a group, all right, because um, it's always good to make your layer panel look neat, okay? So I'm going to call this days and time. All right, then I'm going to change the color of um, this to, oops, I'm going to change it to the same color. Bring out the right and just show this here and i'm gonna hide it again all right so um let's turn on our illustrations and i'm going to just uh, scale this real big all right let's scale this big right? so okay and uh, i'm gonna make this all right this smaller this here Let's make him more. I mean, let's make him smaller again. All right, it's doing this. Um, it's going to command attention now. The smaller you make the silhouette, the more it catches attention. All right, because if you look at the title, you realize that the title is big. So when you place anything small next to it, it's going to create contrast all right so i'm going to make the two objects bigger like so and um, i'm going to move this up a little bit and, uh, 
Juventus. Je me suis abonné à votre guide, et je suis prêt à me The picture of my characters here is taking too much space, and uh, you know, I have some space here, so I'm not going to use my guides anymore. So, what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to go straight to the days and time, and I'm, I'm going to start with that. And I'm hit control T on my keyboard, and I'll bring out the guides again. I'm just going to push this out to touch this part here, and I'm going to move this down like so, and I'll hit control H. So that is set up. And then for the uh, ministers, I'm going to do the same thing. I'll bring out the three transformer. And I'm going to push this uh, in like so. Scale this big like so. Okay, and hit control H on my keyboard, and this should be here. So, right, and I'll push this down. Okay. So I'm going to hit Ctrl H on my keyboard and I'm um, going to right click. Um, you know what? That was a right click. So I'm going to select the title and I'll go to the shape tool and change the color of the title to this. So um, because I want to command attention more on the silhouette of the man, I'm going to change the color to this color. All right. And I'm going to just uh, make this a little bit bigger. For those of you that don't know, um the layout i'm trying to achieve here is um the figure two layout all right so i'm going to show you what i'm trying to say so if i go to my brush tool now and i change the color of my you know my brush to this and i'm going to show you guys my layout so i'm going to go to my brush settings which is the hard brush turn on conference for well, on this so this is the layout that I'm trying to achieve. All right, so I'm going to hide this now because this is not adding to my project. Okay, so um, for the ministers, all right, so we need to change the color of the frame. All right, so I'm going to pick this um, color. Okay, and so let's bring in the picture of um, our speakers. So I already have it over here. And um, I'm going to start with this. So I'll drag this and drop here. So this should be here. And I'll hold on Alt and click. And between the two layers to, you know, clip the uh, image in the frame. And I'll bring out the free transform and scale this bit. All right. And this should be here. Like so, all right. So it should be black and white. So I'm going to hold on Control Shift and G to make it black and white. And So now, since this is um, something that I got to do with uh, youth event, so we need to make our background have that youth feel. So to do that, I am going to go straight to, um, you know, my exercise file here, and I'm going to drag this and drop like so. You know what? I'm going to drag this out from the minister's folder. So I'll right-click on the layer of the grunge image, and I'll hit the rasterize um button here and I'll hit control I on my keyboard to you know invert the image and I'll go to image and I'll select um, screen now so for those of you that, I, that want to know how I got this image I got this um, image from Google image so if you're looking at achieving the same search so the keyword to use is grunge image all right so if you hit grunge, if you type grunge image and search you have different options of ground image that you can use. But the reason why I'm using this is because the business of uh, the ground on it is less. So now I'm going to add a layer mask to this and I'll select brush. 
and I'm going to use the soft round brush and just take out the okay so I'm going to switch my foreground to black and just take out those edges like so all right and I'll reduce the opacity of this because if you look at it I can hardly see the information on my project so I'm going to drag this down to about this point and just reduce the opacity a little bit more and I'll make a copy of this again and this time I'll bring out the fit transform and right click and just select rotate 180 and this should be up here I can even scale this just you know this one a little bit bigger and you know bigger like so and make a copy again shown this here select the layer mask of the branch image and just you know take out some of the branch form layer like so and the next thing i'm going to do is to add noise so i'm going to create a new layer by holding on alt and click on the new layer icon all this noise so i'll change my blend mode to um, soft light and check the fill with soft light neutral color option and select ok so I'll go to filter noise and select add noise and now I'm going to reduce the amount of my noise to uh, this point and I'm going to select the OK button I am going to just add you know create more drama on my background and I'm going to select the text tool and just type I I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial and if you have not subscribed remember to hit the subscribe button and remember to ring the bell so you will be notified when i post my tutorials share like and comment on this video i'll see you guys again in my next tutorial peace